everybody, welcome back to another farm vlog. It is August something something and we have just covered second second or third. Second or third or a little bit of both cutting of alfalfa. The guys came this morning to help us get it covered, but there was a hole in the old plastic. We kind of pulled the old plastic up and overlapped our new haylage with the old haylage. And then once we were done, we kind of overlapped that old plastic back over top and there was a hole in that. And you don't want a hole in your uh, plastic on your haylage pile because that lets in oxygen and oxygen makes it so that the haylage will begin to uh, decay and go bad and we don't want that. So I've got Gorilla Tape wide and some wet wipes. Just some Clorox disinfecting wipes to make sure that it's really clean so that we make sure that the tape sticks to the plastic because we don't want air and we don't want water getting into the feed. All right, we're here. So there's our old pile and this is the new pile and you see how there's kind of a crease here. So those are the holes. And oh, I see another one over here, another one. Let's go find some plastic to patch these with. Trimmed a little piece off of there. Trimmed this off a good old square. This is what we're using. Stepping on the tire so you don't cut the plastic with your boots. All right, we're done with that. Let's go feed calves. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, it's gonna, it's gonna take a little longer than that. First. <clears throat> Yeet, yeet, yeet a couple tires out of the way. Boom! And it's fixed. Now we just have to do that one and that one. It's fine, it only took like 15 minutes. That one's done. I started taping it before I realized the black side was up, but oops. I don't do this usually. Abram does this, but he decided to go break his arm. This is how much tape I've got left. And this is the last thing I've got to patch. Roughly three, well, like two feet long. I'm hoping I don't have to go into McBain to get more tape. I probably will anyways, because we just need it. Yellow, like right, I can't right now. I guess he'll figure it out. Skids deers, man. Need something moved with something. Right now we've only got two skid steers. One's full-time scraping 24 seven. And the other one is always busy Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because uh, Keegan's leveling sand with it until about one or two o'clock. And that's when I can use it for my stuff. We do have like that mini loader that you guys saw in some earlier farm vlogs, but our feeders need that for moving plastic and doing tires and all that stuff too. So just kind of strapped for equipment at the moment. We're getting two of our drive motors for the other Kubota rebuilt at this moment. And my dad just mentioned today that we, uh, or that he's looking for another Kubota skid steer. Cause we really do need to have like four around to always have enough running that we can get stuff done. So it's kind of frustrating. I know we're not the only farmer that's this problem, but it feels like it sometimes. So this, I used a little bit of tape to kind of stitch it together and I'm taping it across. I think we'll be fine. I can just get going on chores. Let's get this taped up and then we'll go push up feed. Apparently we only had two rolls because this last one is just stuck to the cardboard so you can't even use it. But we made it work. This is a little too close for comfort for me. I want to get more coverage on that cut. So I'm not going to throw tires back on top of that and I'll go to McBain later and get more tape. It'd be nice to have the wider stuff for, for all the little holes in here too. This is what I'm talking about something about the size of a quarter and they're really all over here on this old stuff there there really just kind of from here in this area I don't know, there's maybe like 25 tiny little pinholes that I'll just cover up with the, with the strand of wide tape we'll throw tires on that and then we'll go push up feed Hole, 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 lots of holes. I got more tape. Cha-cha! 
Actually, Kershaw. Not a sponsor. What? What the heck? Oh, that should be enough. And I got another one right there. All right, hole, 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 hole. Bunch of little holes patched up. I'm trying to, I can't figure out how to set you guys down. Patched. Yeet. We're gonna call that. Good. We're gonna call that. Good. We're gonna call that. Good. <laughs> well, almost. I see like three more holes. These holes are freaking having little baby holes. They're multiplying. Well, I know who was using the Gorilla Tape. Good for patch and pile. Good for fixing seats. Now it's time to push up feed. We'll go ahead and hop in the mini loader. Say, so how do you get a mini loader? Well, when a mom and daddy pay loader, really, really love each other. And now we're unloading Tyler. Boop. These are rye straw bales up from Kingsley. We probably got a couple hundred left up there, I'm not sure, but there's a freaking lot of them here now. All right, Tyler is unloaded and he's taken off. Ooh, close, but it made it. Working with the experts here. All right, now I gotta push that feed into them guys. So, gotta put that bucket on this guy. All right, they have got their feed. Now we're gonna swap to the bigger bucket over there and keep bedding up commodity barn. Baby calves. More baby calves. gonna go ahead and bed the first pens. I'm talking works like our sunflower seeds in my mouth. Marco flower is delicious. Alright, they're all bedded up and we got the guy here. Hold on. Oh probably another load of manure over there. I'm gonna go help get it pushed into his bucket so that it's nice and clean once he's done. So um, I'll get a bucket on, swing them around and then we'll do that. sure I don't know what's happening but right now I'm feeding weaning barn after that got a couple pens to clean out maybe I don't really know but things are going good lots of happy cows Tyler's back look at all those bales Tyler is unloaded and uh, Nicole has some issues she's uh, taken care of at the moment. You got him? I think she's got him. No, 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 no. Definitely does not have him. Uh, we're going to clean out the front of the commodity barn. You know what top it is. I don't know why I said that. It's just we're going to clean out the commodity barn now. These guys are all bedded up. The cattle are in the front of the pen most of the time, and so it gets dirtiest the quickest. But I'm not 
so they're not laying in it. So if we have sawdust that's a little on the wetter side, we'll use it for the fronts of the pens, and then we'll use the dry stuff for the back of the pens, and the calves always get the dry sawdust. But this is just a way to, to not waste sawdust, because we can still use it for bedding the, the fronts of pens. So let's swing these guys back around. And that's it for me, guys. Chores are done. I'm ready to go home. My truck uh, is basically totaled. Needs more repairs than what it's worth. So this weekend, I'm going to be looking for a new vehicle. So looking forward to that. Anyways, that's it for me. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys on the next one.